Hello, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. It's your favorite Nigerian lifestyle vlogger, Maria Habila. I make one of the best content from Northern Nigeria, ranging from lifestyle, relationship, food, all that good stuff. And I also talk about Kaya Mata and body enhancement. So this is going to be a vlog. I have not vlogged in a very long time. And I feel like it's strange. But first and foremost, welcome to my YouTube channel. Happy New Year, all of you guys. Happy New Year. This is going to be one of the most random vlogs you see because actually I'm not full of activities today. But I just want to force myself to do something so that I can show you guys I have not vlogged in a long time. Always sit down, sit down vlog, sit down vlog. Now it's time to communicate with you on a personal note. I want to know how is your year already starting up? We are starting now with speculations about lockdown here in Nigeria and it's not funny. And please ignore this my hair net because I'm not a hair bonnet person, I'm a hair net kind of person. Shoot me. <laughs> okay, without further ado, let's get straight into today's vlog because I don't want to talk too much. So I, I want to go to the market to go and buy things, herbs for tea and um, I'm going to specifically massacre market to go, I'm, I don't even know the place but I'm going to look for some herbs for tea. So I'll take you guys along, I'm going to massacre market which is off Abuja Express, Abuja Cafe Express way. I'll take you guys along. I'm buying herbs for tea. I should leave something for soup. I hope I don't get missing in the market. So let's go. But you still take your girl out on a date. God's blessings always on time. Never late, immaculate. I'm the one that fresh away to pull you down. I might be one that's dancing, dancing. Yeah, I might be one that's flexing, flexing. No matter the weather. Just the good, good people, eh? Sir! Whip, whip. Oh, sir. I got my man in the house. Benny yet, Benny yet. Come on. Sir. So, the massacre market is somewhere between the FCT and Nasarawa State. It's just at the entrance of Nasarawa State. So, downwards, you go towards Kefi and the other part of Nasarawa. I'm trying to get into the market now, but I had to climb this bridge so, um, to cross the road. <laughs> This is not the neatest market. I don't think this is the dirtiest, but this is the dirty market. That is the honest truth. In Nigeria, is there even clean market? If you know any clean market in Nigeria, please let me know. I am familiar with this part of the market um, because we usually go here, go to this place to buy chicken, right? But that's like the only place I know in the market where you can go to buy chicken and that is where I am heading towards now so that I can ask for directions. Usually their market days is on Friday. Every Friday is massacre market day. But today is not a market day and the market is a bit scanty. In fact, it's very scanty. On a market day, you would not be able to see space to pass. You all these barrow people will push you. Anybody that want to push you will push you. But see me walking freely in the market. Social distancing myself without your nose marks. Now I've gotten to the area where the place is. Like this is where they sell chicken. Very close to this place. Uh, I missed my way a bit. But I figured it out because I know where the chicken place is. So I'm heading towards where I would ask for direction. Oh, 
so i like perfumes and oil perfumes and this guy sells everything knew it he sells everything as regards herbs body and all that good stuff so he sells white pepper almond um bay leaves different herbs he also sells this kayamata some of the kayamata products yes so he sells them those are like carrot soups and all that and then here are the herbs he has packaged some of them this star um herb i don't know what it's called and see just very amazing and interesting things they are cheap compared to other parts of abuja okay if you want to buy these things in other parts of abuja you will lose so he has black tea white tea white pepper black pepper um coffee both green and brown coffee he has funnel see everything including original honey with um extracts from sugarcane it's called mazarokoila i don't know what people call it but caked sugarcane though so natural sugar he also sells these things in big packs so this is a big pack of um almond and i don't know what this red thing is if you know please tell me in the comment section and this i think it's funnel seed no these are rosemary um herbs okay he also sells them in packs very big packs like this ones jump 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 to my loop i know you're very gentlemanly with your heart like a baby so humanly because you got me really feeling you're a testimony massacre market on its own is a big market but i was surprised to find this kind of shop here when my mom told me i just felt like okay it's just going to one small shop but i was amazed that he had a whole lot of things as regards mixture of herbs for tea for soups for spices anything you want as regards spice you can get it here in small quantity and large quantity um yeah so see, these are some of the packs they are cinnamon um a lot of nice things a lot of nice things original honey you can even try it there he sells things for zobo as well so this is just me trying to find products here because i mean i kept on asking to compare prices with the normal price i know and it's quite affordable compared to town and other places it's quite affordable i just did not buy his cinnamon because he didn't sell cinnamon in small packs he only sold cinnamon in big packs and he doesn't have the local cinnamon that you would actually see the three back on so i didn't pick it so i was able to get a few things for my tea what i got was cardamom and a whole lot of things that i'll be showing you guys later these are some of the products i got and i was really impressed about the shop really anything i want as regards mixture of tea i know i can get here and some herbs that i've never even seen before including dried mint leaf see there i was i was amazed at the market i like the fact that i could find something like that around this vicinity okay so if i want to make any herbs any spice anything i know where to go <laughs> <laughs> you know that kind of joy that makes you laugh at things when they're not funny. <laughs> and your enemy be like, what's making you smile? And I'm like, hey, now you be this, them go there. Now you be this, so, hey, now you be this. So you know this place is such a very noisy place but yeah and then he, one good thing is he ties everything in small small quantity right it very small quantity for as cheap as 100 naira 50 naira for some as expensive as 5000 10000 you could find your variants there so if you want something tiny you can get if you want something big you can get amazingly he also sells gorontula fruit so i'm just going towards there to show you he sells gorontula fruit and this thing is expensive i swear 
now that i am done with what i came to do in the market it's time to say goodbye i head to my father's house so i was able to get what i wanted to get including a few things for soup that i was going to make later that afternoon so here we are on my way home so i just got back from the market and i'm ready to show you guys the process of making my tea one ingredient is missing and that's because you guys are so expensive i cannot afford to buy cardamom cinnamon with that kind that i can't buy cinnamon with that amount so yeah that's why i didn't buy cinnamon but see these are the tea ingredients i'm supposed to send it to my uncle so yeah basically let's see how we're going to make the tea let me introduce you to all my ingredients that i bought in here and then i'll make the tea for you guys right i'm tired because it wasn't hard to locate at all i didn't find locating the place very difficult so now that i've located the place and i'm familiar with the place it's going to be very good place for me to go to shop for my tea things and subsequently my kayamata product because Miguel is going to kayamata food like story for another day what did i say story for another day just hold this hold this gist because it's going to we're going to milk this gist in another video all right so let's get into unboxing this bag here now that i'm home here are some of the things i got surprisingly i wanted to add um what do you call it pineapple inside my tea so i added pineapple peel inside the tea and it was super super amazing so i'm just unraveling all the products i got i got um black pepper for some of you, me i didn't even, i don't okay i know black pepper but i've never really enjoyed or really had any second thoughts or about it but here and then this i don't know the name of these fruits these seeds are spice please tell me if you know in the comment section i also got this thing this is called mosoro in hausa i don't know what it's called in english i think call it alligator pepper also i'm not sure but i think that is what it's called so this is what it looks like long long like this i think it's alligator pepper i am not sure if it's alligator pepper please let me know in the comment section and for some of you who know i love clove clove in tea just gives you an amazing flavor and i do not like to exempt it from any of my tea no matter how small so yeah i like to put cloves a lot in my tea and we have cardamom right i didn't put cinnamon because i couldn't get cinnamon and i'm using some zobo leaves this one is for my uncle that i'm going to send to him but for this tea i'm also going to use zobo leaf which you're going to see subsequently and then these are dried mint leaves they don't look nice but yeah we have to make do what we have so i am i've already put in my pineapple peel and my dried mint leaf i'm going on with this star spice more just call and star spice and alligator pepper i'm going to try next time to remove alligator because it has some kind of funny taste i don't like and i'm going in with um some clove and black pepper in the pot this is going to it's not going to brew or boil like every other tea okay so i'm going with my zobo leaves this is everything that i have incorporated with water warm water and then i would leave it to heat a while and put my cardamom and now back on the hot plate so we're going to allow it to boil gradually this is low heat so that it's going to so take a while we're waiting for our tea to get ready right <laughs> Look where it's scenting so nice. See, I can't wait to have this tea because the flavors are already incorporating. I can perceive the nice aroma and flavor in this pot of tea. 
less allowed so this is going to be the end of today's video i hope you liked it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up see you subsequently in my next video so i'll be going to over soon i've been ringing it and be saying it i'm going to over soon please tell me what to do to enjoy over because i intend to enjoy over so tell me what to do to enjoy over i need to enjoy over give me a list of things i need to do drop it in the comment section I'm the one that's dancing, dancing. <laughs>